One vintage Mr. Mixoplick action figure. That's Leonard's. Children's toy. <laughs> One Star Trek, the next generation phaser. That's Leonard's. Children's toy. <laughs> One Game of Thrones, collector's edition long claw sword. Oh, Leonard and I bought that together. That's a bit of an ethical conundrum. <laughs> eh, I'll keep it. So, uh, what's your plan moving forward? I suppose I'll have to find and cultivate a new roommate. What a task that will be. Do you know how uncivilized Leonard was when I took him in? No. Oh, it took me forever to get him on a bathroom schedule. <laughs> no, he would just go whenever the mood struck him. Like a dog boy. Exactly. <laughs> What if you could find a roommate who was a scientist and already familiar and comfortable with your ways? That would be ideal. If a person like that existed, I would sign on, no further questions asked. Great, here I am. <laughs> Wait, uh, here who is where? Me, aren't I your perfect roommate? Um... Think about it, Sheldon. I'm not a stranger. We're intellectually compatible. I'm willing to chauffeur you around town. And your personality quirks, which others find abhorrent or rage-inducing, I find cute as a button. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um... Tell me one reason why this isn't a fantastic idea. Um... <laughs> See? You can't. I'm gonna go see if Leonard's room is big enough for my waterbed. Um. Good buddy, Leonard. Good buddy, Leonard. Good buddy, Leonard. What do you want? Hey, good buddy. So, uh, I was just talking to Amy, and she made me realize that this little dust-up between you and me is much ado about nothing. Is that so? Yes, all is forgiven, so come back home. I'll make you some soy-hot chocolate, and then I'll tell you about our exciting new devil-may-care bathroom policy. <laughs> Cut to the chase, Sheldon. Okay, Amy's decided she wants to move in with me, so I need you to come back home, you lovable scamp. <laughs> That's a lot of product. Hey, what's going on? Oh, get this. Suddenly, Sheldon wants me back because Amy wants to move in with him. Really? Interesting. <laughs> well, too late, pal. I'm not going anywhere. Penny and I are very happy living together. Isn't that right? It's like the happiness won't ever leave the apartment. <laughs> Leonard, please. You know Amy moving in marks a level of intimacy our relationship isn't ready for. Yes, that is a real thing. And it doesn't mean you don't care about each other. It just means things are moving at a pace you're not comfortable with, and that's fine. Well, if he doesn't want to live with her, then he should tell her how he feels. Well, maybe he doesn't know how to say it without hurting her feelings. The feelings? What, am I a hippie at a love-in? No. <laughs> The problem is, she laid out a series of logical arguments that I couldn't refute. That is the worst, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sheldon, I can't help you. Oh, spoiler alert, this door's about to slam in your face. Oh, there you are. When do I get a key to our apartment? Um... 